A graph question from chapter 3. A car accelerates from rest in a straight line with constant acceleration. Ooh, this is from rest is probably a good key. Start off with zero velocity and constant acceleration too. Okay. Anyway, which graph best represents the variation of momentum P of the car with distance S? Now, my first instinct when I saw this question was to think of Newton's second law. Constant acceleration means force change in momentum over change in time. Now, I could find this easily, but the problem is, notice what's on the x-axis of all the answers. S, S, S. It's not in terms of time, so I can't use this equation. Sad. Although I could draw, if it is momentum against time, then the gradient is the force. Gradient. But, oh well, we are looking at distance. So, I can't do this anymore. So let's scrap that. Think of another idea. How else can we relate momentum to this displacement? So whenever there's graph question, um, here's a hack. First step, plot out two points, the beginning and the end. So you start from rest. So when there's no distance travel, you should be at the origin. So let's check. Origin, origin. Origin, not origin. Mm, this is wrong. Bam, bam. Next one. Uh, after a while, you should increase already. So I think the rest are fine. This is all up here. So after you've gone a certain distance, you have a higher momentum. Now, what is momentum? Momentum here is mass times velocity. Ooh, so we can do some magic here. So mass times velocity. Can we relate velocity to displacement? Think of a kinematics equation. So P equals to M. Plug in something here. What should we plug in? Do you remember this equation? V square equal uh, U square plus 2AS. I think we can use that. So this will be U square plus 2AS. Now initially, it's at rest. So you can simplify further to be just M times 2AS. From there, we can conclude, therefore, the relationship between P and S. P is proportional to the square root of S. Square root graphs generally look like this. So this is the answer. If you're wondering what is this graph, this is saying P is proportional to S squared. It's a quadratic. You know, the bowl-shaped quadratic like that. So it's not correct at all. Bam. This is saying P proportional to S, a linear straight line graph, also not correct. This is P proportional to square root S, and that's correct. So that is the final answer for this one. Graph question.